Next step, supply the needed dimensions. With the guidelines that was prepared earlier, it is easier to supply the needed dimensions. Then, draw the dimension lines. It is composed of the extension lines and the dimension lines. The extension lines indicates the limit of the dimension or the measurement on the object or a plan, while the dimension line is drawn with an arrowhead and indicates the extent of the dimension. The dimension lines are drawn lighter than the object lines but darker compared to the guidelines and construction lines. These are the areas by which dimensions are indicated on a drawing or a plan. On the other hand, no dimensions should be placed on these areas. Here is the detail showing how extension lines are drawn. These are about 1 to 2 mm away from the object and should never touch or get in contact with the object. On this example, the inclined surface of the object shown on the side view is not parallel with its total depth. In this case, the extension line should be extended closer to the edge of the object.
draw the arrow heads after drawing all extension lines and dimension lines. Now, label your drawings. And that's it! The construction of the orthographic drawings based on the given object is done. And don't forget to write your name, year and section, performance sheet code, and the date of accomplishment. If you like the video, please subscribe!